Hey, hey, friends, it's Yvonne. Hi, hi. I'm at the Ark. Yeah, I'm at the Ark. We're starting at the one by my house. I'm going to hit as many as possible today. So, it is, what is today, Thursday? So, the only color that's on sale is just one today, not four. It's not senior day, it's not military, and it's not Saturday. So, pink. Uh, this is mass produced, so can't really pay $9 because I would only sell it for like 12 or 15 out of my booth. Those are so pretty easy to find when you go to Ross, Home Goods, all that stuff. Well, that's an interesting project there. <laughs> Wait a minute, let's see what it says. Salvaged wood and metal from someplace in North Carolina. Oh, that's interesting. Unique art. Okay. Objects. It's rural home stuff. Hmm. Probably has some social media, huh? Okay. So. So I did pull one item already, you guys. But it doesn't have a price on it. So if it costs too much, I can't get it. But I was like, oh, I gotta find out because I didn't film it because I'm like, if I don't buy this, but they've seen it, they're going to be so mad. <laughs> Look at this sugar-coated, or scavo, maybe, glass pumpkin with blue ombre. It does look commercial, but it's so pretty. And for some reason, especially when it comes to things like that, those pumpkins for the season, I, I promise you, people do not care whether it's vintage or not. Ooh, look at that. I just got $4.99. Yeah, I don't know whose that is, but might be mass produced too. I don't know. It has an older feel to it, very chunky. But even if it is mass produced, it's unique. It's beautiful with the optic, and it's unique. And I haven't seen that one before at Home Goods or anything. So I'll go ahead and get that. You guys, I'm gonna. <laughs> 349. That one looks like pottery. I want this one. I want the glass one with that almost Tiffany blue. Not quite. Almost though. I better get over to that knickknack aisle. This front row they've started to like try to curate and make real pretty like an impact when we come in. So there's not as much stuff. Dang it I just saw something else. Hang on. I just saw something else. When I turned around, that I'm like, well, I want that too. Yeah, I just need to get over to the knickknack. What was it? Oh, there it is, up here. Shell. I think that is some California pottery. I think so. I think, pretty sure that's probably California pottery. Oh, what is that for tag though? Maybe, I don't know. In the cart for now. Okay, turn around with me. I just want to look at something. I saw something that is just begging to be upcycled, and I've been wanting to do that. I prefer them not to be so huge. That one's possibly, but this one. I love this one. Let me turn the camera this way. I wish it wasn't so big. It is just begging to have some kind of cultural icon in there, some kind of pop art icon. The last one I sold was smaller. And somebody had put in Guardian of the Galaxy. And I didn't even know who it was. Y'all had to tell me. It wasn't something I watch. But yeah, I prefer a smaller size. What am I thinking? Smaller size. Okay, I flipped over. But I jumped into the middle because I saw this. I think I know what this is. <laughs> this crazy thing. Isn't this a Diane? Yeah, 2005. Come in with me, Diane. So I'm gonna look it over real well, make sure it's okay. But I think this is about a forty or fifty dollar item. I'll have to double check, but I think this will be okay. I'll put it into the cart here next to me. Let's see what else we can find. Next, mm, almost there. Nineteen fifty. Yeah, I believe. Almost there. Some pottery. Okay. 
Hmm. Illegibly signed, but at least it's signed. <laughs> yeah, 349. Yeah, that's fine. Put that in the cart too, that's fine. Let's see. Oh, I saw, yeah, there it is. I thought I saw something else, but I wanted to jump to that Diane fish. That looks like a stangle. Yeah, I've got, I don't know, $4.99. I mean, I probably should based on principle, but I don't, stangle just is not as hot. I've got a vase that matches it in my booth, but it just hasn't really been, gosh, I think it's been there for almost two years. Now, I haven't tried to put it on eBay. Uh, let me see where eBay's at, because, you know, that gets more eyes than a booth. Let me check eBay. Maybe I'll get that. And then pull my vase as well. And put them both on eBay. Let me check. Yeah, y'all. This antique gold from Stangle, it's just, I don't know. That's probably $15 on eBay. $15, $20 at the most. So, I'm going to pass. They have come down a lot. Huh. That's kind of cool, though. Now, if it was half price there, I would get that. That's pretty fun. Bowling. <laughs> Crazy thing. The shells are still here. Haven't come down in price yet. If they're still here on Military Monday or Senior, then I'll do it. Finally. And since they've lasted this long, it's a good chance. Might make it. That's cute. It looks kind of Dollar Tree-ish though, really. Just a step above. Way below Yadra, but that right there is just giving me <laughs> like Hallmark feels. The little babies, right? There's some 60s, 70s things. I would love to do these, but they don't, they just don't sell that well. I would love that though. <laughs> that would be more my vibe for sure. Okay, a lot just happened. But let me back up and start over. So I had company. So you guys know how I feel about my vases. I love vases. That's what caused me to finally get a booth was my love for pottery and glass vases. Anyways, so I've got quite a few in my cart. Now there's nobody in here, so let me back up because there's some honorable mentions, okay? Yes. All right. Where was I? There was some honorable mentions. These, I know that it's just transferred on, but I, it's simple, right? So I just wanted to check them. I knew they were newer, but I wanted to see if maybe Anthropology or something. They are Martha Stewart. There, Martha Stewart, 249. 249. Okay. Actually, that kind of surprised me. Uh, Martha Stewart. I don't know. I. You would think it would be raised or just something a little bit more quality. I looked them up only because they're Martha Stewart. Anyways, um, they only sell for about 15 a piece. So I'm going to just leave those. There are so many Martha Stewart fans. They're going to love that. Wait a minute. What? Okay, hang on. I almost missed this. Okay. Made in Germany. That's what that says. Look at this Stein. $3.99. I don't care how much it's worth because that's mine <laughs> it's got silver metallic on it pewter top there is a name I'll look it up later because I don't care that's mine all right and I'll tell you guys let me show you the rest of the honorable mentions and I'll show you what happened in the vase aisle it's pretty good okay but there was a couple other honorable mentions oh these. These are by Dennis East. There it is. Dennis East. But I don't want to ship that. This. Hey, hey, I'm editing. A baby was crying during this. So here's what I was saying. Somewhat popular, just a very affordable line. They're out of business now. That big one goes for around 20. The little plates go for around 8 to 10. Okay, I'm back. The baby's happy again. They fixed it. <laughs> Baby's happy. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to talk about this. This looks like nothing, right? But this is a pottery barn. Pottery barn? I don't know. Their stuff just has a, still holds value. This is their all natural line. 
if you could see that. And believe it or not, the people that love this, to me this is the Martha Stewart look, um, that figure is worth about $20, $25. So, I'm just, I know, it's like, well, Yvonne, you're showing this stuff, but you're not getting it. Yes, I have plenty, so I'm just super cherry-picking, you guys. But there are things here, for those of you that have more time, for those of you that aren't having surgery again in a couple weeks, you know what I mean? Um, don't mind, you know, shipping and all that like I do. I'm a big crybaby about that, huh? <laughs> um, there's a little bit, of, I'm showing you some things that, you know, there's a little bit of money left. I sold both of these out of the booth, similar to this. They were a little bit older. I only bought the ones that said mushroom, since mushroom is trending. So that's my recommendation on that. But I ain't always right, but it worked for me. Those might have sold too, but I knew the mushrooms were a safe bet. Okay, so I, t I think I talked about everything I saw so far. Little Al Spoon Rest, World Market. World Market stuff, they have a following too. Anthropology, Pottery Barn, um, still Pier 1 for that matter. Not as good as Pottery Barn. Did I say Anthropology? Yeah, okay. Those have followings. And usually their stuff is a little bit better quality. I'm not saying it's like celebrity high end or anything, but it's moderate income quality. Oh, there's a dance. That's cute. Let's see if you were hurting for inventory. That's a cute little dance. It's probably worth a couple extra bucks. It's a milk glass. Oh boy, that's I've never seen this. $12.99 though. You know why? That's probably a booth sticker where they had their price on it. And so it was probably high, and that's why. I've never seen this. Whose is that? Look at that, you guys. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I bet you there is some money left on that, but I'm not gonna do it. But there's another thing for somebody. There's you guys. There's so many resellers in my town because we just have so many thrift stores in Colorado. Certain parts of Colorado are very. Um, wait a minute. I see something. Let's see what this etched is on here. That's interesting, decanter. Oh, I sold that Simon Pierce I told you guys about. I sold that. They didn't even bother sending an offer. I have everything best offer. They just straight up paid for it, $98 plus shipping. I'm going to do a what sold soon. That's got like vintage colors, huh? I don't even remember what I was saying now. Oh, I like these kind of old school shakers. These look like repots, but let's see, Tablecraft from India. This kind of stuff here, this could have been made yesterday, it could have been made 20 years ago, because they're still doing stuff like that as part of their trade. All that metal work. These are great, though. Those are great for certain, certain types of herbs, or if you like powdered sugar, things like that. <laughs> Okay, just me chit-chatting as usual, you guys. I know I didn't finish a couple thoughts. I'm aware. I'm aware. Marigold. Marigold's not the best seller. It's a fire king. Okay, $9.99 now. That's probably about what you get for that right now. There's some Pyrex. Newer Pyrex, but you know what's good about this? It's purple. <laughs> it's purple. Yeah. I was hurting for inventory, I'd probably get those and stick it in the booth. I think we can turn around now and I can tell you about the vases and all those vases that are in my cart. I'm good. I just got new pans. I'm good. Okay, let me get situated and then we'll talk about what I picked out from vases. You know what we'll do? I'll review it with you guys and then when I get to the end, then I'll show you what I picked out. Let me review it with you. There's some fused glass. One ninety nine. Give me party light vibes. Oh gosh, I love this stuff. I've got some of it though. I've got some of it straight up that I saved from the late eighties and nineties. Well no, mid nineties when this art deco 
revival and all this glass stuff is in style. I would get this, but it's kind of messed up. Four ninety nine prima donna. Oh, I would so get that. Anyways, I've already got some for my pop's room that I'm resetting, and it's going to be eighties, nineties. Super cool, because you know downstairs is seventies, the downstairs family room. And so I've got cool stuff from the 80s and 90s that I love. I did the um, I didn't do the geese and the bears. I did. You guys probably know this, right? <laughs> I think I talked about it last time. And I'm sure you you know out of the two, and I'm sure you guys know out of the two choices which one I would go for. But yeah, I did the um, you know the black lacquer furniture. Had a shiny gold tinted shimmer white couch and you know lots of art deco revival pottery and glass and I still have some of it so that's what I'm gonna do for Pop's room okay so I don't think I missed anything I really don't so when we get down here to the end I will show you what I got in the cart I think these are Dollar Tree, all these little hanging things. They're plastic, not glass. Yeah, that says Greenbrier. That is Dollar Tree, you guys. Oh, here's a funny story. Oh, it's been a couple years, but I saw one of these in red, and it didn't have the Avon sticker on the bottom. I'd never seen anything like it. And I was like, wow, that looks fancy. Look at that. <laughs> I bought it, and I was like, I love this. I'm going to keep it. Um... They don't sell for a whole lot, but what this is, is, it is Avon. The one I got was red, and it's got like this plastic coating that held a fragrance. So they were like scented vases. Yeah, see, spring bouquet, fragrance vase. Jade green. <laughs> Still smells a little bit too. It's kind of rancid. But anyways, they look cool though, don't they? They're pretty. But I'm good with having a red one. So let me get down here and I will show you what I picked out. I did look at that. That's modern. And that is just touristy and it's got too many issues. Okay, it's not like a studio. It's very mass produced for the tourist market. And this here, this is made in Japan. This is older. It is made in Japan. There's the sticker. $6.99. It's just, and it's a pretty color. That's an 80s, 90s color. We talked about that last video, but I, it just needs to have more for me to want to, for me to want to get it. Okay. All right. This row is still, nobody's here, so we can do this. Okay. <laughs> we can do this now. I might pause it if I have to move, you guys. This, I don't know. I think this is old. I don't know. I can't tell if this is a, like this made to look vintage and it's for American girl dolls. Let me open it up. <laughs> See the stars make me think, oh, this was an American girl doll case. I don't know. But then she's got Barbie. So I don't know what she did for it. What it was for. I'll find out when I get home. I just want it. It's super cool. Look at it. And for five ninety nine that's a good deal. Okay, I found a spot. It has a mirror. Okay, so we're getting that flower frog, the Diane thing, this. I'm getting this for me too. Look, it fits over your sink. Ah, I need that. So that here. How much was it? Two ninety nine. Heck yeah. Silicone edges. All right. So I don't have a price on this, like I said, but. But I knew I was going to have to get it, right? Just for me, too. Just a little terrarium that hangs on, a little wall pocket terrarium that hangs on the wall, you guys. That's cool. Two forty nine. So I'm going to get that for me. Okay, and then this little one, you guys saw the little one for two forty nine. And this interesting art glass. Not sure about it. It's just good enough to get, but look. I think this is the same maker. Look at this. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, it's got the same body. Hang on, let's bring this up. Yeah, that's the same. Look. See the olive green in there? And then the olive green in there. 
I think that's going to be something. I'm going to get it. And then this little, probably mass produced, maybe not, but $5.99. Probably, most likely mass produced, but maybe not when I get the sticker off. It's good enough either way, I feel like. And then, I don't know, this is weird, I don't really look at books. I've got all the books I need. My bookcases are full from the 80s and 90s and 2000s. And they're mostly full of like, like I don't really do fiction. Like, I'll watch movies, you know, visual, I'm more visual. But my books are like, <laughs> my books are like spiritual studies and comparative religion and self-help, things like that. And poker, all the poker Bibles. Um, so I don't know what caused me to even look at this. Maybe I was moving it out of the way. That must have been it. I was moving it out of the way and I'm like, this don't feel right. So look, I don't know if it comes like this or if they did that. That's pretty cool. That opens up a little velvet box. So I'm going to get that. And, <laughs> and again, I'm not going to bother to look this up. I just love it. It's just too cute. I just love it. It kind of reminds me of the one I bought at the Salvation Army a few months ago. The one that has all the playing cards on it. And I kept that too. Okay, and then the last item, which I... I don't know. I'm going to have to double check you guys because this says $1.99. Hang on. I'm going to have to check. This says $1.99 and that don't seem right. But I know it's new and it's fake, but still it's worth more than $1.99. And I would just want to use it for decoration in the booth. So if they say, yeah, $1.99 is fine, then I'll get that. What is this? Oh, oh yeah, look. I found some little glass beads. Definitely. This is for me. All right. Oh, a couple things for mom. <laughs> Look, brand new. Night light. It comes on when it's um, if the power goes out, it automatically comes on, and you can pull it out, and it's a fully charged up flashlight for you. Then her electricity went off for almost 18 hours. She said, so I'm getting her that. And I always pick these up. She buys them from Amazon, and they're not cheap. So this little doggy pads. One of her dogs, oh Miss Lola, doesn't always control herself. Okay, so I'm happy with all this so far. So now I'm going to look at jewelry. I'll see you guys over there. Well, hmm, <laughs> not a lot going on. As you can see, it's swinging. I already looked at it all. Here's a bargain, though. This refill, look, only $4.99, you guys, for two of them for wood. That's good. I might get that. It sells for around 20 but I might get it for myself. So I did look at everything, but I mean, I had fun. Like, I was like, oh, that's so cute. You know, it's new and kind of eclectic. So this was fun with the ice, right, the cracked ice look. And inside the showcases is pretty bare, but I'm sure they'll stock up before the weekend. So I think I will grab me a box. The only thing I added was I found a German hair dryer. This is so cool. It's good for blowouts. This, so that saves me some money. That's the brand on that. I think it was German. Is that what it was? German? German design, but made in China. And I might get this. I need to see if they're still in business. I haven't been there. Oh my gosh. I think I was there once in the 80s. 1982 so I don't know if it's still there now don't confuse it with the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb this is a local racing track so if they're still open let's see $4.99 I might get that <laughs> I might get that I'm not sure okay so that's it I'm going to grab a box and I hope you guys have a little bit of fun and I will talk to you later bye for now